just send it. It's like 250 people. This thing is just kind of pissing me off. Like it's so short, I guess, or something. A little extra room, maybe. All right. So, test, test, test. Oops. Whoop. Sorry. My mic is on. Everybody, Paul Richards here with Huddlecam HD, and I'm so happy to have you here live on YouTube. Um, before we get started, let me just say that I'm really happy to be supporting our charity every live show. If you just hit that like button or that subscribe button, it adds an extra dollar to our charity going to the Susquehanna Valley CASA, the court appointed special advocacy system helping children in need get donations. It's the holidays. Thought I'd throw that in there. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to look at how to install cameras in the ceiling. Uh, ceiling mounted conference cameras are really useful for a lot of different reasons. You can get different views and you can get a lot of different angles and things. As you can see behind me, we have a classroom scenario. We also have a conference room scenario. And we really have two different kinds of um, camera mounts for the ceiling. So that's what I wanted to start off with. Let's go ahead and look at the installation of our flush ceiling mount with the Huddlecam HD. So what you're looking at here is the Huddlecam HD flush mount. And I'm going to pull up the part number for you and show you where all this information is on our website in a moment here. But I wanted to show you just how easy it is to get installed. Um, there's two plates. So one plate on the top, one plate on the bottom. Very, very simple. And then they just snap together. Um, there's a set screw in the front and you can see how nicely that fits onto the Huddlecam HD um, camera base there. I believe this is about a 10x and you can see there that it's going to install right on there very easily and um, Andy's got all the cables already pre-run there to make it easy to have that installed and um, he's just going to plug in there's a couple there's two screws on the back when you purchase this flush mount it actually comes with all the mounting hardware so we can get that mounted on the back very easily um, 
And this is one, the, probably the most popular way to ceiling mount our cameras. So that's just, just wanted to show that off there. He's going to then plug in power and USB. I think he also has a control cable there for control. And he's good to go. Um, it's that easy. So let's take a look at where you can find this mount on our website. If we go to accessories and then mounts, Um, that you see we have the wall mounts, the small and the large. And then we have our ceiling mounts. We have small and large pole mounted ceilings. And then the one that we just showed off is this one here, the ceiling mount. So let's take a look at the spec sheet really quickly. As you can see here, it has a three year warranty. It comes with all the hardware there that you would need. And actually, the user manual gives us a little bit more uh, detailed information here about what's included, all the hardware, and it fits a standard US box, which is very nice. So if you do have a box there, it'll fit right on there. So that is the um, ceiling mount. Now let's take a look at the pole mount. Now the pole mount fits on a standard one inch threaded pipe. So that is very standard for those out there that have ever mount seen a projector mounted before. Um, but it's very, very standard. And uh, you just screw it right on to the one inch threaded pipe. And then there's a set screw to tighten on. And that's literally the only screw you need. Now, of course, you need to have the one inch threaded pipe uh, secured to the superstructure of your building. And um, we are coming out with a a kit to do that but for now that would have to be done by an integrator. The camera itself would then be connected to the set screw on the bottom of the camera and um, that you can see there and then the ca there's cable trace paths right through the back of that unit there and it can plug in for power and USB so very simple stuff um, but very powerful and user-friendly uh, information there. And we'll go over some use case scenarios in a little bit here. Um, and I'll show you where we can find this information on our website. Again, same, same place here. We are on the ceiling mount area here. And we'll look at the instruction guide. And the ceiling mount here. All you really need is a set screw and a um, quarter 20 nut there to get it all plugged in. And it'll fit to any uh, one inch threaded pipe. And you've got your, now the reason why you'd want to use this over a, um, a flush mount is because sometimes it's nice to get the camera to come down a bit, right? So if you're in a church or a space with high vaulted ceilings, you don't want the camera view to be looking so far down at an angle. It's nice to actually bring it down five, six, maybe eight feet. Uh, don't go too far because it uh, could wobble and you could get a little vibrations, but you know, within the, the reasonable amount that your integrator feels as though it can be, it's possible. So let's start off with a classroom scenario and then we'll look at a conference room scenario. So here's a classroom scenario here, and we see our cameras being mounted in the ceiling quite a bit in classrooms to provide the view of the teacher as they're presenting for distance learning. So there's two cameras in this room because both use cases are applicable, and sometimes two cameras are actually needed. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we have the Huddle Cam HD on the ceiling to capture the teacher whether they're at the whiteboard or in the front of and they're providing a lecture with a distance learning uh, capture system. So um, there's a camera in the front as well you will see in a moment and the camera in the front is good for showing the students and you can see them participating and raising their hand and however that needs to happen and then the camera on the top there is giving you the view of the front of the room so that's one use case scenario um, you can see that there is actually a projector pole mounted at the front this camera could have been pole mounted as well 
although we decided to use the ceiling, the flush ceiling mount. So I'll take you around the room here so we can look at this. This is a, a fairly standard classroom. It's the ideal classroom with computers for all the students in the back. Um, you know, every classroom is a little bit different, but here you can see we have a Huddlecam 10X there um, in white mounted on a wall mount. Looks like it's doing a little bit of a color dance there. Um, and then you can see from up here that we have the ceiling mounted camera as well. So very nice and easy uh, kind of, I hope everyone kind of gets that. It's a, it's a standard integration that we see quite a lot. Um, and there it is. So now let's look at the same scenario in a boardroom. So same type of thing here. This time we're installing our, th our 10X720 camera in the ceiling, as you can see above there. And it is uh, integrated. Now when you do ceiling mounted cameras, you are going to need to um, extend the USB and also provide power in the ceiling. Um, there are power over Ethernet solutions available that can um, power the Huddlecam HD cameras, so let us know if you're interested in that. And there are also the ability to extend USB 2.0 or 3.0 um, through the ceiling when you need to extend up to a ceiling location. So as you can see here in this scenario, the 10X720 camera in the ceiling, of course you, it would invert the image, um, allows you to capture, let's say a document or a product on the table from a upwards view, so from a, from a, down, a pointing down view. Um, we have found that is also very popular to have a secondary camera, uh, whether you're using WebEx or GoToMeeting or Skype for Business. Um, it's it's another popular solution for um, for mainly for conferencing, but we do also see people using it for video conferencing and live streaming. So that's pretty much all we have today. Thank you so much for tuning in. That that has been our full overview of ceiling mounting cameras in this beautiful studio. Um, Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and come in next week to learn a little bit more about what we can offer and what we're going to be talking about. Next week is our last week before the holidays. Um, I'll have to check the calendar. You can always go to live.huddlecamhd.com to see the next episode. Take care, everybody.